Greetings, I'm Barrent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We are continuing our playthrough of This War of Mine by Awaken Realms. We're continuing into the next day. Now, there is only one thing I need to change from the last video, and just to tell you, I am recording this one back to back with the last one. So if there is anything else that was wrong in the last video, I'll have to correct it in the next video. So I just wanted to let everybody know. Now, the one thing I need to do is this was the guy we drew when we found our rebels. And when you do draw, it does say return this to the box. With that being said, we did really good. We got a lot of really great things. We picked up some sweets in our last video, so we're pretty excited about that. Are you ready to see what's gonna happen to our survivors? To find out, I need you to meet me at the table. Like a shooting star that came The denizens remain calm The soul in the western sky We're going to start with our morning phase. We're going to go ahead and draw the top card from our event phase. All right, and it's going to say, oh, we're getting close to chapter three too, so we got to finish off our objective. It says, snipers, place this card on the findings pile. If there's already a card there, remove the card from the game. Oh, so our army deals is going away. At the beginning of the scavenging phase, roll the red combat die for each scavenging character to determine if they were hit and how many wounds they suffer. Characters may use their prowess to re-roll the result. If at least one character was hit, immediately remove this card from the game. Okay, that sounds pretty terrible. I don't want to get hit by snipers. Also, we need to add one cold to the cold space. So let's go ahead and switch out our event cards. Goodbye, army deals. I kind of wish you were there. I'd rather have you there than snipers, yuck. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move into our day actions. Our first off, our little girl's gonna go hang out over here. Now, Boris is at two fatigue. He's gonna go take a nap. I don't wanna deal with that anymore. Next, we're gonna to have to take Anton. I think Anton's gonna go work on some rubble. Now, the rubble's off screen. I'll show it to you when we go there. Katya, no, Erica is gonna go work on the door. She's got a lock pick. I'm gonna give that to her. Also, the shovel's gonna go over to Anton. He needs that to dig through the rubble. And last but not least, we're gonna put Katya on the rainwater collector. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to pick through that door. We got a six, that's fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and be able to successfully pick that lock. Now that does mean we lose the lock pick, so I'm gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna be able to open this door. We'll see what's behind the door. Oh, three wood, I'll take three wood. So we're gonna go ahead and put our three wood into our storage. She's gonna then go back over here to the guard space along with our girl, she's done too. We're gonna to put a weight token on our rainwater collector and then we're gonna go ahead and move Katya back over here. He's done taking a nap, so he's gonna lose his two fatigue and he's down to only having two misery and one wound. Now that's all he's down to, it's not too bad. Now we got Anton, Anton's gonna dig through the rubble. So Anton is located down here. He's gonna use his shovel and dig through this rubble. And that's gonna be what he's gonna do for this first day action. All right, we're gonna move into our next set of day actions. And we're gonna start off with Boris. Boris, I think, is gonna go back over here and dig through that rubble again with his shovel. So he's gonna do that. We're gonna have uh, Anton. Anton's gonna go ahead and he's gonna move right over here. And I think he's gonna build something. And so is Katya. Katya's gonna move up there and build something. And we're gonna have Erica take a nap. I know she only has one fatigue, but if she can get to zero, when we use that Night Owl card, if you remember from the last video, it's so good, she's gonna be able to do three more actions before we even go into our evening phase or our night phase or scavenging phase, one of those areas. So that's gonna be our second set of actions. So we're gonna start, it's off camera, but Boris is gonna dig through the rest of his rubble, which is gonna discard the card. And we're gonna put the shovel back in our storage. And that will unlock a furniture over there that we could check at some point. Next, we're gonna have Katya. She's gonna build an improved, a, what is this, the improved 
Simple heater, to an efficient heater. It's gonna cost two mechanical parts, an electrical part, and three components. So let's go ahead and build that. Oh, I need to see it again, I was gonna forget what it is. Two mechanical parts, all right, we'll take those. One electrical part and three components. One, two, and three. There we go, we have all our stuff. And that's gonna build our efficient heater. We're gonna put that right up here. So now it has to be placed next to the simple heater. It has that requirement here. It says, place next to the simple heater. And what it does is it basically, a uh, simple heater uses one wood book instead of two. It basically just gives us a better chance of getting, we don't have to pay as much to keep the place as hot as we need it. All right, next we're gonna have our wonderful Anton here. He's gonna build that bed. I like having two beds, it's gonna be good. Three components and four wood. So we're gonna put that bed down. It does the same thing as the other bed. So we're gonna go ahead and take our, what was it, three components and four wood? I think that's what it was. Yes, three components, one, two, oh, I don't have three components, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Did I do that wrong? That's hilarious. It is three components. Okay, never mind. I can't build a bed. I'm an idiot. All right. <laughs> He's not going to build a bed. I lied. He's going to hang out right there. She's still going to be the efficient heater. That's very important to have. I think what he's going to do then is, wow, I think he's going to go ahead and dig through some rubble. I think that's going to be his plan. So instead, I'm going to have, now I have two shovels. So we're actually going to give one of them to Boris and one of them up here to Anton. And he's going to go ahead and dig through this set of rubble. So Eric is gonna come back. She's gone ahead and lost all her fatigue. She only had one, but she got rid of her fatigue. This guy's gonna use his shovel to dig through the rubble. We're gonna put it over to rubble remnants. And there we go, that's done as well. And she's gonna head and build the efficient heater, so she's all done. Now Erica is the only one that has a third action. She's gonna take her third action and she's actually gonna go all the way down here to the furniture and she's gonna see what's there. So since she's the only one with an action, she's gonna go ahead and search the furniture. Let's see what she gets. Wow, a lot of stuff. Oh, that's too bad. I already have full water already. We got a wood, a mechanical part, meds, and an herb. Oh, we didn't even get, I was hoping for a mechanical part so we could build that bed. Well, let's go gather those things. So we gained a med, an herb, a mechanical part, and wood. We're gonna put those into our storage. And she's gonna go back over onto our guard space. And we're gonna remove this card from the game. So we're moving into the dusk phase, which is where we have to choose to eat and drink water. We're gonna go ahead and have everybody use a water just so we don't have to worry about misery or any more hunger. Now this is also where I'm gonna use the canned food on Katya. He's gonna use a vegetable and then I've got, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm only gonna use one of my sweets and I'm gonna use one sweet on Erica. So we're gonna go ahead and cross out one of these to say that we've used one on Erica. I made my camera shake, sorry. And now she's gonna stay un, unhungry. <laughs> and she's gonna go ahead and use the canned food. He's not gonna use any, so he's gonna gain her hunger. This gets rid of two hunger. This keeps him from being hungry. He's gonna go hungry. She used the sweets. And now again, I didn't give anything to the girl. Maybe the girl needs some sweets too. I think we're gonna give the girl one of our sweets as well. So we're gonna cross off another one of these. And then she's not gonna lose any happiness for not being fed. Because it does say on her card, she is if she is not fed one vegetable, raw food, or canned food. Now it did say under our sweets thing that these act as vegetables. If they really, if it's something that's not exactly how it works, instead of giving the vegetable to Boris or Erica, I would have gone ahead and given to the girl instead and gave them the sweets. All right, so we've used two sweets and we've gotten food for everybody except for Anton, but that's okay. And now this is where the real fun begins. We're gonna move into our evening phase and we're gonna play our night owl card. It does say, play at the beginning of the evening phase. Choose one character. This character may now perform all their actions again as if it were was the day action phase. And it's gonna be Erica because she has three actions. That's awesome. So sadly, I was really hoping for a component when we'd search the furniture so I could make my other bed. But instead, I think what we're gonna do is we're just going to dig through the rubble with our shovel. So we're gonna clear that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go for the furniture with our second action. Let's see what's in the furniture. Oh, not even any more components. That's ridiculous. I need components. All right, we got raw food, a mechanical part, sugar, and wood. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and put these in our storage. I don't know why I'm complaining. I got raw food, that's really good. All right, we're gonna put those in our storage and then we're gonna remove this card from the game. So she's done everything. She has one action left and I think the last action is she's gonna go use our efficient heater to burn one wood off of our cold space up here. So now we're gonna go ahead, keep ourselves warm. We have three cold, but that's okay because we have three board ups. So we should be okay when it comes to our fate card. The other thing I forgot to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these two on our water delivery for thugs. Right now our objective is on three. If I give up two more water, that puts it at five. And that means we're gonna be good, able to complete this when we go into the next chapter. Well, actually, now that I think about it, at any moment you may discard any amount of water without resolving its effect. For each discarded water, advance the objective marker one. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. So then the payoff will be 10 wooden components to the storage. That's gonna be fantastic. We'll be able to build our bed when we get done with chapter three. That's gonna be awesome. All right, we're gonna move into the evening phase and we're gonna have to try to figure out what we're gonna do here. I think Katya is gonna stay on guard duty and Anton's gonna take a nap. I think that's gonna be his best bet here. I think that's, oh no, it's, yeah, that'll work. He's gonna take a nap. He's gonna go ahead and gain one fatigue. Eric is gonna gain a fatigue. And so is Katya. I think Katya is gonna go ahead and stand guard this time. I think that's gonna be the plan. The reason why is I don't want these two to go out because of those snipers. Now these two have two prowers so they can actually re-roll that red die a couple times. Oh, they don't get hit really bad. So that's gonna be our plan. And oh man, I'm really scared of those snipers. I'll tell you that right now, <laughs> I don't like it. So these three are gonna go out. This person's gonna stand guard. He's just gonna go ahead and sleep in the bed. Now, where are we gonna go? That is a great question. We're gonna take Boris and we're gonna take Erica and both of these people I think are gonna go right back to the construction site. That's my best bet here. We have quite a bit of food thanks to those sweets, but there's just nothing here. Absolutely nothing I want here. And I don't really want to go to the outpost. I think it's going to be bad news. Anytime we see a resident, we have to read 448. I'm sure that's terrible. And when we go to the construction site, I am going to bring a saw blade and a shovel because it has bars and rubble. I'm also going to bring my hatchet this time. I don't think I want to leave home without it. Now, the other thing is I'm going to bring two chems and two meds, and I'm also going to bring medical herbs, and I'm also going to bring meds. This is a straight up trade for a bandage if I can find one. And that's really what I need right now. Other than that, I think we're doing okay. So that's what we're gonna bring over to the construction site. And we get 14 cards this time. Now the first thing we have to do is take care of our sniper's card. So we have to roll this die and hopefully not get hit. Actually, what I need is one person to maybe take a wound, but I don't need any, or none, because it doesn't go away until somebody does take a wound, but I don't want people to take a lot of wounds. So Boris is gonna go first. He's gonna roll the die. Oh, we're definitely gonna re-roll that. He's got two re-rolls with his prowess. A two, oh man, this is terrible. Oh, he got hit for three. Oh, that's gonna kill him. Wow, what a way to start. So Boris is taking his fourth wound and it says, see epilogue 285, that's gonna be terrible. Before we do that, we're also gonna shoot Cot or Erica as well and see what happens. Come on, nothing too bad. She got hit for three, she's got two re-rolls. Another two, I hope she doesn't get hit for three either. This is gonna be, okay, good, it missed. All right, whew. Well, sadly, we have lost Boris. Boris is dead. He got shot by a sniper, I guess. <laughs> oh no. All right, 285. I'm looking at the Book of Scripts app. It does say, find a character on the list whose state has reached level four. Well, it's Boris. So we're gonna go to 1327. 1327 states, Boris was both lucky and tough. Unfortunately, luck eventually deserted him, which was no surprise, and toughness alone couldn't keep him alive. If there's any justice in the world, he'll be with his son again. Remove this character from the game. Back to the game. Sadly, we lost Boris. Oh, that makes me so sad. But the good news is, Erica didn't get hit by the sniper, and our sniper card then says, if at least one character is hit, immediately remove this card from the game. And that is the only bright side. So we're gonna remove not only Boris's miniature, we're gonna remove his card, his little tokens here, even this little orange thing, and our group just got a little bit smaller. I guess, again, the only good thing is we don't have a guy with a lot of misery out there anymore. So I guess that's half the battle, really? 
Now, another thing we have to do since Porus died is we have to draw a Desperate Measures card. So we're going to go ahead and mix these up a little bit, and we're going to draw a Desperate Measure card. And it says on the back of here, when a character dies or abandons the group, draw one Desperate Measure card. Keep it and use it at any time and as described on its back. If more than one character dies or abandons the group at the same time, draw one Desperate Measure card for each of them. So our Desperate Measure card for poor Boris says... We have to eat this. Some things would normally seem inedible, but now the first bite is the worst. We swallow and continue. We will do what is necessary to survive. Play during the dusk phase when checking the hunger. You may choose to raise each character's misery by one. If you do, treat them as if they just ate raw food. Oh my gosh, this is out of control. After using this card, remove it from the game. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, I guess we get this, yay. We're now gonna go ahead and create a 14 card unknown deck. So we're gonna shuffle up our exploration cards and we're gonna move into our new exploration phase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, we've got 14 cards. Now, most of the time we can stop whenever we want. So if we feel we've done well enough, we can always head on back. We don't have to go through this entire deck. I'd hate to lose Eric out here as well. Our first one, oh, it starts off with Reality Impact right off the bat. All right, so we're gonna draw a card from the Colors deck, then draw a card from the Exploration deck, and then we're gonna find the number in the Book of Scripts and resolve the corresponding text. So let's go ahead and shuffle up our colors deck and see which one we get. We got blue. Well, blue seems to be like our favorite color. We're then going to draw a card from our exploration deck, and blue is 928. Let's go see what that says in the Book of Scripts. Our Book of Scripts app says 928. We were just creeping down a corridor when suddenly a weeping woman ran into us. Even in the semi-darkness, we saw that she was bruised and bleeding. Choking on her tears, she shouts at us that she ran away from her husband. In recent times, she started hitting her. And the beatings were coming more frequently and are more vicious. The hunger and the hardships of war can even turn the closest to us into monsters. The woman begs us to take her with us to our shelter. If she's willing to go with complete strangers, she must be truly desperate. We refuse. It's none of our business. The woman follows us for a moment, crying and begging until finally she falls behind. We feel terrible, but we can't help everyone. Back to the game. We take her with us. The woman will wait for us nearby, and we will re all return to the shelter. Write down Sabina1736 on a blank token and place it in the findings pile. When we come back to the shelter, read 1736. I think we're going to take her back with us. I don't think it's wise to let that one go. We're going to take Sabina back with us. So we're going to write down Sabina 1736 on a blank token. So we're going to take our Sabina 1736 and we're going to put it up here in our findings pile, discard our reality impact card, and continue our exploration. Door. We can either enter, raise the noise by one, or roll for noise. We're going to go ahead and roll for noise since it's sitting at a one right now. We got a seven, so we're okay. We're going to continue exploring. Let's see what we get next. Search the furniture. Oh, this one's good. Raise the noise by one and roll for noise. Oh, you betcha. So our noise is going to go to two, and we're going to go ahead and roll it. We got an eight. All right, so we don't have to worry about any residents. So now let's see what we get in our furniture. We're going to go ahead and shuffle up our findings pile here. Hopefully get something real good in the furniture. Come on, something fantastic. We got a book, a chem, and a medical herbal medicine, sorry. And then we get to roll on our special findings table. We got a four, which means we found absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go grab all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take our book, our herbal medicine, and our chem, put it in our findings pile. Put this back up here, and we're going to continue exploring. Oh, reality impact again. Wow. Draw a card from the colors deck to determine the script. Then check the number with the color on the exploration chart on this location. Find that number in the book of scripts and resolve the corresponding text. Afterwards, place this card under the location card. 
When the location card is removed from the game, shuffle the reality impact card back into the exploration deck. All right, so we're gonna put this here and let's see what color we have. We're gonna go ahead and take our colors deck and mix it up a little bit and see what we get. <laughs> we got blue again. Now we're gonna take our construction site and we're gonna look at blue. It says 953 under the exploration section. Turning to 953, it says, the concrete floor muffles our steps, but not the sound of talk. We can hear an argument on the floor above. It's not loud enough to hear who's arguing or work out what they are arguing about. Let's check it out, but be careful. See 1421, or whatever it is, it's not worth the risk. 1662. So I think our best bet is actually to go with Whatever it is, it's not worth the risk. If we had Boris here, I'd feel a little bit better, but we only have one person exploring right now, and I don't really want to risk losing her. If we lose her, we pretty much lose everything we've brought with us, which is quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to go with whatever it is, it's not worth the risk. 1662. 1662 states, we have to move on. We need supplies. Write down 1930 on a blank token and place it in the findings pile. When you resolve the choose finding stage, first resolve 1930. Back to the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write 1930 down here and I'm gonna put finding next to it so I know during the choose finding stage is when we have to resolve this. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and put this underneath our construction site and we're gonna put that back up here. Now we're gonna continue exploring. I hope that is a good thing in the end. Hopefully there's more items. Open space, oh no, there is some open space. You know. What? I'm going to return two exploration cards and raise the noise by two because we're doing pretty good. So I don't really want to roll for noise that much. So I'm going to raise it one, two. It's at four right now. We're going to discard this card and we're going to continue on. Bars. Oh, those I have. Return two exploration cards and roll for noise. So we're going to return two, one, two, and then we're going to roll for noise. Our noise is at a four, so we just have to roll for noise. Oh, I got a two. Darn it. I'm on another resident. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is put my noise marker back to one. And then we have to figure out what <laughs> residents we found. Oh, I hope we don't find anybody too bad because that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> too bad, pretty bad, lots of bad. How about no bad? Survivors. Determine the number of survivors encountered. Roll the black die. One to five, two, six to nine, three, ten, four. Oh my gosh and draw their tokens. Survivors are armed with oh, hatchets, knives, and pistols. Place the card in the location slot until you leave this location. Whenever you take anything from a pantry or furniture, roll a black die. Result of one to four, see 99. You may take one exploration card to talk or trade with them. At the end of the scavenging phase, shuffle this card back into the residence deck. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to be okay with that. We're going to put this. Oh, I got to roll for how many there are. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so there are six. That means there's three of these guys. So we're going to go ahead and take our tokens again from up here. We're going to mix these tokens up a little bit. Do, 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 do. And we're going to go ahead and draw, what, three it said? Yes, three. We'll draw one, two, three. Put these four back up on top. And then let's see what we managed to find. We found, oh, a hatchet, a knife, and a knife. All right, so a couple knives and a hatchet guy. So we're going to go put these guys up here, and they're with melee weapons. So we're going to put them right up there. We'll just put these tokens over here. And, oh, man, okay. Then we got to resolve our bars thing here. It says, add six cards to the exploration deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're, we're pretty much going to be done with our exploration deck pretty soon. And then it says, Draw and resolve a findings card pantry chart. Now this is not exploring the pantry. This is just a findings card of pantry. If it was an actual pantry, I would have to roll this die, but it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up our findings deck and we're gonna just draw from the pantry and this really might be about it. We might be going back because we don't, we don't have a lot of people we need to feed anymore because we lost Boris. All right, our findings card, pantry. We got a vegetable moonshine and sugar. All right, not too bad. And we're gonna go ahead and roll our special findings die. Oh, we got a one, of course, that's terrible. All right, so let's get this stuff. All right, so we got a vegetable, a moonshine, and a sugar. We're gonna throw that in our special findings pile. We're gonna get rid of this findings card. We're gonna go ahead, 
discard that bars card, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pay one exploration card to talk to trade with them. I'm gonna trade. I don't need to. Well, you know, let's go ahead. Let's talk to them. Why not? I think we're gonna be pretty much done here because if I can't go to these two places, then it's not worth it. We're gonna talk to them. See six three eight after I return one exploration card. Six three eight states, it's always difficult to trust one another. After all, we're just like them. We do anything to help our chances of surviving another day. We talk, but everyone is ready to reach for their weapons at any time or simply run off. We always have to be on guard. Who knows if someone's intention is to just talk or whether it is to violently rob the other of all their possessions. Roll a black die. So we're gonna go ahead and roll a black die. We got a 10. All right, let's see what that says. A result of 10, see 1672. During this encounter, you cannot perform the talk to action more than once. All right, so we're gonna to go to 1672. It's good to be able to talk to someone, but their group doesn't seem as close knit as ours. As we think about it, we get an idea. We could take advantage of this and bolster our ranks. Maybe we should ask one of them to join us. The conversation is really pleasant and we could use another pair of hands. If you want, draw one character from the unused character deck then decide if you want them to join your group. If not, remove this character card from the game to the waste bag. If yes, place them next to our characters and place hunger level one and misery level one tokens next to that new character. Back to the game. Well, all right, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up our characters here. And let's see which one we get. We got This character right here. Let's see who it is. It is Shaveta, how school headmistress, very empathetic. Her spirit A, if a character in the group is hungry, level three, raise her misery by one, discard one coffee or get one misery, lower one chosen character's misery by two, comforting talk, inventory two, I don't know. I don't I don't think I want this character. I don't think she's gonna bring a lot to the group. And we do have three pretty decent characters. I think this one, I, I'm, I'm not gonna take her. I know I probably should, but I don't think I want her. We're getting into chapter three and, oh man, I don't think I wanna have another character. All right, so that was the survivors. Um, we talked to them, now let's trade. See, seven, two, three. So we're gonna give up another exploration card to trade. I'm just worried about this round because I only have one person out. Next round when I go out, I'll be able to take like Katya and Erica out. So I think we're gonna be a lot better. It'll be kind of back to almost our core group except without poor Boris. So our Book of Scripts app, seven, two, three says, you may buy any of these tokens. See journal trade sheet. Red, ammo, shells, weapon part, broken pistols, bandages, meds, herbal meds, Chems, herbs, oh my gosh, they've got everything. Books, lock picks, jewelry, vegetables, coffee, cigarettes, and moonshine. Trade commissions, only one. Wow, they've got a load of stuff. All right, we're definitely gonna make a trade and then I think we're going home. So here's what we're gonna do. There's our trade commission. We're gonna give up our chem. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and sell off our shovel. I don't need it, I've got one back there. Moonshine for nine and another herb for 10. That's gonna get us two vegetables. All right, what else do we got? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of a herbal med for six, which is gonna get us two ammo. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let's see what else we've got. We're gonna go ahead and give up our herbal med, our sugar, and our herb, which is gonna come to a total of 10 to go ahead and grab a bandage just in case, because we already have a med up in our findings pile already. It's right here, we already have this med. So we're not gonna go ahead and do that. Next, we've got two more chems. We're gonna give those up and go ahead and take two books that are each worth one. We can go ahead and burn these in the heater to keep ourselves warm. Okay, I think that's the plan. So all this stuff we're getting rid of, and not to mention, none of this weighs anything. That's kind of the other reason I did this, because we don't want anything that weighs anything because I only have three to be able to take back with me because I lost Boris who could carry six. So this is all gonna go into our findings pile. We're then gonna look at the bottom of this card. It says, at the end of the scavenging, shuffle this card back into the residence deck. I'm gonna complete my 
exploration at this point. Oh wait, I think I need to actually draw one more card. Let's see what it says here. Um, no, I think I can complete it whenever I want. We're just gonna complete the exploration. I'm gonna give up these cards. I know there's a lot, but we got vegetables. We're doing just fine. We've got food. I'm gonna take back some water. So we're gonna clean up our exploration area and we're gonna go ahead, shuffle this back in and we're gonna discard these guys back to the box. And again, at this choice, I have an ability to go to the heart of the city if I want. And we're going to give it a shot just because this is a fun thing to do. I don't think normally this would be the best plan, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and see. We're in chapter two. So we're going to roll a die and see what happens to us. Hope that's off the board. I got a six. And in chapter two, our result is H31. H31 says... It's not true that soldiers were tearing boys away from their mothers, at least not from the ones who were still alive. Those women were fighting back with all their strength. The soldiers hit them with their guns, kicked them and shot at them, but they still grasped their children. The reporter asking the question stopped suddenly, noticed us, and is now running with all his might, rushing away his cameraman. Other journalists are following suit. They must have just gotten here. They are still clean, and they've got that fresh smell. Let's wait for them. Maybe they'll have some food or medicine. Let's not waste time. They'll just twist our words anyway and won't share their food. After all, they're not here to help, but to feed off our fate. Or <laughs> let's throw rocks at them, just like you do to chase away vultures. <laughs> okay, I'm not throwing rocks. But I think what we're going to do is we're just not, we're just going to go away. I'm not, let's not waste time. Let's just, do, I don't want to do this. Okay, H80. H80 says, we hear the reporter's voice behind us. As you can see, they're all like walking corpses, so completely devoid of life. They don't even want to talk to us. Well, we're ending our mission in this district. Now we must make our way back to our hotel in the war zone. It'll be a very dangerous trip. Stay with us as... Back to the game. All right, so that really didn't help us at all. We're going to go ahead, move these back off to the side, and we're going to get ready to do our, was it, findings, choose finding step. So before we move into the choose finding stage, or at the beginning of it, it does say that we're supposed to resolve this 1930. So we're going to go ahead and read what 1930 says. 1930 states, a reminder about what this blank token concerns, see 1662. Let well, me we know what it concerns. It says, a gunshot echoes through the entire square. Roll a black die. On a result of one to four, choose one character present who will get shot suffering three wounds. Oh, this is terrible. Someone hiding high on the scaffold is shooting ducks. Remove 1930 token from the game. Yuck. That's ridiculous. All right, so we have to go ahead and roll a black die. Oh, this is just out of control. We got a 10. All right, thank goodness. We don't have to worry about that. That was bonkers. Wow, imagine that. We lost Boris, and she would have taken three damage. Oh, that would have been terrible. All right, so we're going to remove 1913. I'm going to just fold that like that. I don't ever want to see that again. But now we do have to take care of this. Sabina, 1736. 1736 states, the token Sabina... From now on represents the woman we saved and took with us to the shelter. Place this token on the fate deck. At the beginning of every dawn phase, resolve the rules below. Sabina requires care. Her wounds turn out to be more serious than we thought. Discard one bandage or roll on the black die and result of one or two, she dies? Oh, that's terrible. Sabina needs food. Discard a vegetable, raw food, canned food, or roll the black die. On a result of one to three, the woman decides it's better to go back to her tormentor than starve. She leaves. Okay. If at any moment Sabina dies or leaves, roll the black die and compare the result with the empathy of each character present. A result that is equal to or lower than the character's empathy equals raise the character's misery by one. Of course, why not? Remove the Sabina token. Shadows from the past. Roll the black die. On a result of one... C1297. So at the be okay, so at the beginning of every dawn phase, I have to give her bandages, food, or she might potentially die or leave us. And then I also have to roll a black die to consult the shadows from the past. 
on a result of one, I have to go to 1297. So this is gonna be a lot worse than I thought. But you know what, we, we did the right thing, we took in Sabinus. So we're gonna go place this token on our fate deck. So now we're gonna to go to our choose finding step and we've really got pretty much everything I've already showed you. We've got our saw blade, our hatchet, we've got three vegetables, I'm pretty excited about those. Those will feed us for quite a while. We also have meds and good thing I got bandages, now they gotta know I gotta save Sabina. We also have two books that we can burn I feel bad burning books, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I also got two bullets as well. So we only have one thing that actually weighs something. And I think it is best to bring our hatchet back. So Sabina's, or not Sabina, Sabina's already over there. <laughs> Erica's gonna take back two water as well. So now I have to move to the night raid. And Anton's actually supposed to be taking a nap. Katya is the one on guard duty. Her and the girl are kind of hanging out. So we're gonna give her the shotgun because that thing is awesome. And we're gonna give her, her our last ammo we have, which is why another reason I picked up some ammo from the trade. So we're gonna go ahead, shuffle up our night raids, and we're gonna see how this goes. All right, let's not get some raging gang again. That was out of control. All right, we're gonna mix these up and hopefully we get something nice and happy. We got looters, oh, yuck. Damage, six. Wounds, two, yuck. All right, so we're gonna shoot them in the face. So we're gonna go ahead and use our ammo and we're gonna shoot him in the face. That's our plan. All right, let's go. Oh, I got that little S symbol. I think we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So we're gonna mix up our fate deck because if we don't, we're gonna have some big trouble because three plus four is, oh, it's seven. I think we'll, no, we'll lose one thing. All right, let's see what our fate card says. Oh, it's yellow, so that means we missed. Darn it. All right, so we do have our Vigilant Watch. We're gonna play this because I got zero. And these guys are gonna do eight boo. That's not gonna be good. Play during the Night Raid phase. Lower the damage wounds from a single Night Raid card by four tokens, resources, or wounds. It still requires at least one character to be on guard duty. So what that means is I'm gonna be able to lower this by four. So instead of six, we're at two and two. Then I've got my three board ups, which is gonna lower it again by three. So we're actually only gonna lose one token, but it does have to be the most expensive token and our pistol is 16. So we're gonna lose our pistol to these looters. And then we're gonna to have to remove this card from the game. And then we're gonna to have to, what's this? Oh, this, this says, afterwards remove this card from the game. So the looters are no longer there, that's fantastic. Our shotgun's gonna go back down here. That was an absolutely terrible turn. So our scavenging party returns, and I believe when we returned to the shelter is when I was supposed to resolve Sabina 1736. I resolved it a little early, I believe, but that's okay. We also, now we get our saw blade back, we have all our cigarettes, we still have our shotgun because I was holding it when they came in, so I'm really gonna give that up. We have three vegetables, a raw, couple raw food, we've got bandages and meds, which we're gonna need for Sabina because I didn't realize I was gonna... <laughs> Glad I got those bandages. We got a couple books. We have two water. And then we also have two more bullets for our shotgun, which is something we're really gonna need. Now that we've brought everything back, we're gonna go assign meds and bandages. Now we have to move into our choose bandages and meds phase. And we're not gonna be doing any of that because we don't need to, but we do have to deal with the Sabina. Now, technically Sabina fires off during the dawn phase at the beginning, but we're gonna do that now. It's, it's okay, it'll be just fine. She needs a bandage and she also needs a vegetable. Otherwise she could potentially die or run away from us. But I'm hesitant on giving the bandage because it's worth quite a bit. And after seeing all the, after I got a guy shot, I kind of want to keep some bandages around. So we're going to give her the vegetable, but she's going to die if I roll a one or two on this die. And I rolled a seven. So she's going to be okay. She's not going to die from her wounds. She ate her vegetable. She's not gonna run away from us. Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to roll for an event. If we roll a one, we have to go to the book of scripts and read it. Nope, we got a 10. Again, nothing happened. The Sabina token is complete. We're gonna return it on top of the fate deck, but first we're gonna draw our fate card and we're gonna resolve it. So let's mix all these fate cards up and see what happens to our wonderful survivors of this war of mine. There's their fate card. I don't need this die anymore. Let's see what happens. It says, raise the illness of all characters who did not take any meds or herbal meds by one. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. Discard the bandage tokens from all characters. All right, none of that's happening. If cold minus board ups equal one 
or more. Raise the illness of one chosen character by one. That didn't happen. Exchange the nearest small location. That's also not happening. We don't have any small locations. Resolve weight tokens and then resolve spirit C on all character cards. All right, let's see what C is. C on her, I think, is nothing, right? Yep, no effect. His is says, if Anton is wounded, raise his wounds by one. That didn't happen. And this one says, if Katya is wounded level two or three, raise her misery by one. So nothing happened on anything except for one thing. We lost a character. Our kid's happiness goes down by one. We need to find a way to bring that back up a little bit. So we're going to go and resolve the rest. I don't think, oh, the weight token. We're going to go do the weight token. Other than that, there's nothing left to do. I'm going to put this back on top of our fate deck, and this I'm going to put there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove our weight token and roll our die and see how much water we get. A three that says we get two water. That's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put these into our storage. And now we get to go into our narrative action phase. We're going to go ahead, draw a couple narrative actions. All right, let's see which ones we get. Now, the problem is we've probably seen a lot of these. All right, the first one is close call. Play during any combat. Ignore all wounds from a single combat roll. Or play during night raid phase. Ignore all wounds from one night raid card. Oh, that's really good. All right, let's see what this one is. Dead on. Play during a night raid phase. If the character on guard has a hatchet, automatically ignore the night raid card. And we have a hatchet. Oh, this one's really good. Or else I can play during any combat. Or during your backstab. If you're wielding a hatchet, automatically kill one enemy. All right, I'm going to put those up for a vote. I'm going to let everybody decide which one I should keep. All right, I'm going to put these up for a vote. But first, we have to go take care of one more thing. In the comments below, should I take dead on or close call? Now, normally that would be the end, but it's not. Since we lost Boris, we have to deal with death among us. And it says, at the end of the dawn phase, check if any character died or abandoned the group today. If the answer is yes, roll the black die and compare the result to each character's empathy. On a result equal to or less than their empathy, raise their misery by two. And these guys are pretty empathetic. So we're going to start with Erica. Erica has a six empathy. She rolled a nine. She apparently didn't care if Boris came back. That's fine. Anton, though, on the other hand, let's see what happens to him. He got a two. Anton is going to take misery, too. Oh, I'm not too happy about that. Now we're going to check on Katya. Katya got a nine, too. She didn't care either. Okay, that went a lot better than I was expecting it was going to go, considering their numbers are pretty high. Now, Anton does have two misery. We're going to have to work on trying to get rid of it. Maybe he can go read a book or something. And that's going to be the end of the day. This war of mine is continuing on. We're doing well. We lost Boris. Oh, that was this was probably our worst day we've had. But that's okay. We still made it through okay. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell symbol, and you'll know when the next video is coming. Also, please feel free to leave anything in the comments below. I'm really excited. We're getting into Chapter 3. I think we're... We're doing okay, like I said. I know we lost Boris, but that's okay. I think our group is continuing on doing well. If you're excited to see if they continue through this war of mine, then I need you to meet me at the table.